satisfied with the glow I should have used um for today's foundation I use the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer if you want a um review on this let me know by giving me a thumbs up or leaving me a um comment and I will do a review on this but yeah today I used this foundation I should have used and I forgot that I have this but I recently picked up the Maybelline Fit Me um Dewy Plus Smooth foundation I should have used this foundation instead but uh. so yeah I just wanted to do a like dewy glowy type foundation look um for dark oily skin which I have dark and oily skin <laughs> um let's just get into the video if you are not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up it helps other people see my video and i will see you guys in the next one bye starting out i'm going to color correct my face using the mac prep and prime um pen in the shade peach luster I'm going to spray some Fix Plus onto a Sedona Lace, um, what is that, a Sedona Lace 847 brush and then just blend out the orange a little bit. I was watching a show on Hulu, that's why I keep looking down, I was watching some ABC show called The Family, it's like weird. It's about a kid that they thought was murdered 10 years ago, but come to find out, he's been alive this entire time. Then I realized that I forgot to prime my face, so I went back and used um, this little sample of MAC Stroke Cream. I love this stuff. I'm definitely going to have to pick, pick up a um, bigger size, but my friend put me up on game. MAC is scamming people because the full size is like $33 for 1.7 ounces, and you can get a smaller size for like... 10 I think you can get like one ounce for ten dollars so if you were to buy two of the one ounce freaking bottles that's cheaper than buying the full size one what the fuck Mac for foundation today I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer in the shade Clove I think this is the darkest shade that they carry. Um, I'm going to use a, a beauty blender to blend that out. Um, it is going to look a little crazy, but I promise in the end it looks fine. To highlight, I'm going to use the NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Amande.
I want to say I also used a little bit of Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade Cafe 2. I can't remember. What's... We'll um, have to see. Yep, I sure did. To set my under eyes, I'm going to use the um, translucent powder from Ben Nye. This is in the shade Topaz. Um, I've noticed that my eye, my under eyes have been looking a little dry lately though, so I'm not going to let it sit as long as I've been doing in the past. The brush I'm using is a brush from one of the Sonia Kashuk uh, like brush sets from Christmas. Now I'm going to take the Morphe M527 and the Shea Moisture um, Bronzer in Manly Dusk to bronze up my face. For highlight today, I'm using the Becca um, Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Topaz, and I'm blending that out with a MAC 159 brush. Um, I kind of highlighted more than I usually do. I did the tip of my nose, and this was the first time I've ever done like my forehead or my temples. Um, I know people really go ham and do like their brow bone, the inner corners of their eyes um, and I've seen people highlight their chin and I've also seen people highlight their top lip but I decided to skip all that extra the temples was going far enough for me <laughs> And that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, it's Sharice, and today's video is going to be my March Sephora Play unboxing video. 